Friday night starts now and Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi will chair the burial committee for departed Nyamira Governor John Odero Nyagarama. The announcement was made even as Kenyans across the political divide mourned the departed governor who they described as dedicated, dutiful and development oriented. Nyagarama passed on at the Nairobi Hospital's intensive care unit where he was undergoing treatment after contracting COVID-19. Chemutai Goin has the details of that report up next. It is here, the Lee Finroll home, that the body of the late Nyamira Governor John Odero Nyagarama will be preserved. As the family continues to come to terms with the loss of a man they called husband, father, brother and even grandfather, Already burial plans have kicked off with the formation of this burial committee which will be chaired by Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi and due to his stature as governor, Nyagarama will be accorded a state burial. The date for the burial is being discussed together with the members of the family and the Council of Governors and other government leaders. So as soon as the date is arrived at, we'll be able to communicate. President Uhuru Kenyatta led the nation in celebrating the life of the departed governor, whom he described as a distinguished and true servant of the people, adding that his contribution to the development of the tea sector in Kenya and the service to the people of Nyamira County would be dearly missed. His deputy, William Ruto, acknowledging the role Nyagarama played in championing for devolution, saying he will be remembered for spearheading the building of a better, inclusive and more transformed Nyamira County. ODM leader Raila Odinga fondly remembered the leader who served with him in the Orange Party, terming him a selfless leader. This as he cherished the moments shared with him. To the Council of Governors, the death of Nyagarama had dealt them a huge blow. This is the man who always prayed for us before we started any meeting and when we conclude our meeting. They took time to outline his achievements over the seven years he had served, including expansion and construction of 1,500 kilometers of road, boosting the education sector by building ECD classes and the agriculture sector through subsidizing milk production. Where the governor assumed office in 2013, the county had only one theater. Today, the county has six theaters stationed at the sub-county hospitals. Nyagarama was serving his second and final term, and with him through the journey was his deputy Amos Nyaribo, who termed him a cooperative leader. Nyaribo will take over the reins of power for the remainder of the term. It's been my friend for the last two terms. We've been together. We take this time to request our people to be calm, and while we arrange and we be updating them now and then. I was such a decent man. Uh, and he was uh, everyone his father and everyone his elder, a very nice man, who, you know, very calmly consulted everyone, never raised his voice and fostered a very strong sense of unity in the county. The governor who had been missing from public engagements is said to have been unwell for some time. His situation, however, deteriorated after contracting COVID-19 and had to be hospitalized the Nairobi Hospital's intensive care unit. This new face seems to be more little than earlier before. I wish to uh, add a word of caution that uh, COVID-19 is real, it is in our midst, and therefore I want to encourage Kenyans to observe uh, the guidelines provided by the Ministry of Health. Nyagarama becomes the third governor to die in office following the death of Nyeri's Dr. Gakurua Home, who died in a road accident in November 2017, and Dr. Joyce Labos of Bomet, who succumbed to cancer in July 2019. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.